वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मैक्सवेल इक्वेशन सो देर आर फोर इक्वेशन विच आर गिवन बाय द मैक्सवेल एंड दिस फोर इक्वेशन आर टर्म डज मैक्सवेल फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ इक्वेशन नाउ बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द मैक्सवेल फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ इक्वेशन वी हैव टू डिस्कस सम पैरामीटर्स डेट विल बी यूज इन साइड द मैक्सवेल इक्वेशन so these are all are the parameters and are very important parameters regarding to the maxwell equation so the first parameter is d what is this d this is nothing but displacement density so whenever we write d we means that it is displacement density now here the rho represents the volume charge density here the b is nothing but magnetic flux density here e represents the electric field and h represents the magnetic field intensity now j here means that the current density that is current passing per unit area so j is current density now del over del t of d shows the displacement current so these all are the parameter that we are going to use in maxwell's equation so let us discuss about the maxwell first equation so according to the maxwell first equation the volume density is equals to the divergence of displacement density so here is the volume charge density that is rho and this rho is equals to the divergence of displacement charge density that is nothing but d so this is the differential form or the point form of maxwell first equation and if we discuss about the maxwell first equation in the integral form then this is like this now let us have a look at the maxwell second equation so the maxwell second equation is based on gauss law of magnetostatics so according to the maxwell second equation the divergence of the magnetic flux density is equals to the volume charge density so here is the maxwell second equation in differential form and here is the expression for the maxwell second equation in integral form so this is all about the maxwell second equation now let us discuss about maxwell third equation so according to the maxwell third equation the curl of the electric field is equals to negative of time rate of change of magnetic flux so this is the maxwell's third equation in point form or differential form and it is the integral form representation for maxwell's third equation and here is all about the maxwell's fourth equation maxwell's fourth equation is based on ampere circuit law and this is the integral form of 
Maxwell's fourth equation. So this is a lecture which is regarding to the introduction of Maxwell's all the four equations. Thank you.